My name is Shelby, which I think explains why I'm so extremely masculine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's difficult, you know? Like, actually, here's the thing is, I, my whole life I've been gay, uh, according to everyone but me. <laughs> so I have to work hard to counteract that, you know? Like, like I can't take pointy things from the top, you know? <laughs> you can see the side, you know? Because the last thing I want to do is look gay when I'm eating a banana and a thong. You know? Because, I don't know. <laughs> see what they want to see, you know, when they look at me, they're like, go, oh, you know, man, look at Shelby having sex with those two girls, what a fag. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm from Texas where if you're outside of the normal at all, you're gay, just normal and gay. There's just a huge zone out there. And you know, it's like, but anything you do that's different there, you're gay. It's like, don't like football, gay. Half floppy hair, gay. Carry a lace parasol, gay. Anything, you but I think, I think this is a phenomenon that's happening a lot. I think that there should be a PSA, a public service announcement for this phenomenon. And I think that the, the, it would go a little bit like this. It'd be like, every year, about 10% of people are born gay. But exactly 0.001% of people are born that just seem really gay. <laughs> it's a condition where you're gay except for actually being gay. <laughs> for the price of a half-calf macchiato a day. You could help one of these children that's born with a condition called homosexual. <laughs> you might be one of these people. If you've ever put on the soundtrack to Glee to impress a girl, you might be a FOMO session. If you brought tickets to a John Mayer concert for you and your girlfriend, you might be a FOMO session. If you're a guy who listens to Adele, you're gay. I, uh, I wish they'd have a club at my school for people like me. You know, I mean, they have the, they'd have the gay, lesbian, transgender club, but I wish they'd also have the club for the kids who get their ass kicked because everyone thinks they're gay. And a meeting would look like this. It'd be like, hey, everybody, welcome to the homosexual meeting. Um, news this week, uh, Davian got his ass kicked by the lacrosse team because his name is Davian. <laughs> But he got a sassy black eye. Way to tie it in with that purple scarf, Davy. <laughs> Let's all say our motto. We're here. We're not queer. Stop hitting us. <laughs> and that's the bad thing about just seeming gay. Because if somebody kicks your ass, it's not a hate crime. It's just like, stand up for yourself, you pussy. 